2020's COVID experience was another Goliath experience for God's children. But while Goliath was defiling the name of the Lord, the Lord was busy raising a David generation, who eventually arose, confronted, and slayed their worst fear and nightmare. That you are still alive is an evidence that God has conquered your fear factor. I therefore invite you to join hundreds of overcomers like you as we begin a marathon unrestricted non-stop praise. For 24 hours and 7 days, a whopping 168 hours of super mega praise. Get ready to join us as we count down and begin in a few minutes. I got married November 2006, November 18, 2006. And uh, when I got married, obviously, you know, as Nigerians, you would pray um, that you have a child in a year. You know, I wasn't really ready, to be honest with you, uh, probably because I was working and I used to travel a lot. Uh, but then I had the fear that I would never have kids, and I've always had that fear. So fast forward um, a year, two years down the line, obviously I wasn't pregnant, so I started getting concerned, and you know, just to cut the whole story short, you know, I had, I had gone for uh, multiple treatments, and um, it got to 20, fast forward to 2015, um, I had just moved to, to, to Houston, um, so I was having this pain, and they told me to go see a, a neurologist. When I got there, the guy told me that I had to go do a, a, an MRI of the brain. Anyway, I did it, and it came back with multiple sclerosis. Obviously, that was devastating. So I um, had to go see a specialist, and it was actually for um, the treatment and everything. And right, at, that was around December. So I started coming to TKP, but I wasn't really consistent because I used to travel a lot. And that was around December where I had to go see the doctor. So the doctor I saw was a Christian, the specialist. And he looked at me and he said, you don't have multiple sclerosis. Mind you, before that, I was praying. I was praying with my pastor in North Carolina, and he would tell me that they were praying for a reversal of diagnosis. But it's so funny that right after the diagnosis, I was given a book, and I would pray I was praying for fear, but in the, in the midst of the whole thing, I started seeing promises uh, in the Bible for people waiting and people expecting and people waiting. So I started, you know, it was like God revealing things to me. Fast forward to December, I, even though they told me I didn't have it, the devil was still messing with my head. So I was there trying, I had already planned to, um, you know, I had done one of the uh, IVF treatment. I had two more to go, and I was supposed to do the next one. But then I was given this diagnosis, so obviously I couldn't move forward with the IVF treatment. But anyway, my cousin encouraged me, my husband encouraged me, and it's, they said I have to go forward with it. And it was around that December um, when um, I would come here and, um, and I realized that they were praising so, and it was continuous praise, and I, I didn't understand what was really going on because I thought church, church had finished, but, you know, the praise and worship kept going. So I told my husband, I was like, let's stay, and we stayed and stayed, and I didn't realize that they were, actually, they were having 100 hours of praise. And I remember I was actually laying down in front of the pulpit, and I, 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 I was flat on the floor, and I started asking God. I was like, God, you need to change my story. And I just kept saying, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. You know, I, and I'm not going to sit down here and say, well, maybe that was the day God answered my prayer. But honestly, for some reason, when I cast my mind back to that day, I just felt like there was some kind of connection. I don't know what it was. I don't know why I remember that day. But I really do remember that day. But thank God, um, I, January... Um, I went for, I started my, uh, the whole treatment, and then come, you know, I think it was in January or February, I, I did my, the last one, the last IVF. I was supposed to have three, I couldn't do the whole three, because the time has passed. But I thank God, because it worked. 
when I, um, when I did the whole thing and the doctor told me, I actually told the doctor that I was having twins. But I thank God today because I was holding on to those promises. I was really holding on to those promises. And even though in the midst of all the chaos, it wasn't like the pain I had before I went to go to the neuro neurologist had gone away, but it was just the faith, the faith, the faith, and I had to conquer the fear. So come February, the doctor called me. Usually when they call, it's usually the nurse. The nurse will call you and they'll give you the sad news. But the doctor called me and told me I was pregnant. It was a wonderful, it was, it was so, I, I, didn't, I didn't know how to express my joy. I didn't know what to say. I, 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 you know, I just fell flat on the ground and I was on the floor and I was just thanking God and praising God. And by the time I went back there to do my test and all that, I found out I was having twins. And that's the reason why, you know, I tell God all the time, I name my kids Anuoluapo, it means mercy. And I named the other one Ibuku, it means blessing. I thank God for giving me those two kids. Even though it took me 10 years, it's worth the wait. Now they're four and I give glory to God. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to invite you all to this 168 hours of praise. Please be expectant. There's absolutely nothing God cannot do. If God can make me a mother of two beautiful girls, there's absolutely nothing he cannot do. I pray that God will answer you. I pray for God's mercy. I pray for God's blessing. And I pray that 2021 will truly be your year of victory. Thank you and remain blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, it is 168 hours of praise. Praising God 24 hours daily for seven days in a row. I welcome you to this edition of 24 7 168 hours of praise. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. For I know you are joining us all over the world. There's no better time to give God quality praise than a time like this when millions of people have died all over the world and we are privileged to be alive, not because we are better than those that die. The Bible says, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. We've got bread, we must praise the Lord. You know, there's a song people, you know, sing all the time, two, four, seven, I will praise you forever. But the reality is that many people have not praised God two, four, seven at any time. We've been giving lip service to 247 of praise, but now we have the opportunity to give God the 247 praise that we have been talking about over the time. It is the redeemed Christian Church of God, the King Spiders, reaching you from Kelly, Texas, connecting the entire world to a great opportunity of praising the Lord for 168 hours in a row 24 7 from december 24 to 31st we are beginning right now get everyone in your family get everyone together let's give god a quality praise you can even reach out to people not, not in your city not in your nation wherever they may be call them right now it is time now is the time to give god 24 hours of praise for seven days, 168 hours. You know what? When you bring a sacrifice on the altar for God, he will show up to ask for what you desire. That was what happened to Solomon. Solomon gave God the kind of offering that nobody ever gave before. 1,000 bond offering. God was so impressed and he showed up that night and he said, Solomon, tell me what exactly do you want? The man asked for wisdom. Knowledge, understanding. God gave him all of that. But God said, even the things you've not asked for, I give to you. Brethren, ladies and gentlemen, if we will come together and give God this unprecedented kind of praise, I can assure you, as we approach the new year, 2021, you will hear the Lord saying, son, daughter, what do you want? And whatever you name, it will give you what you are not naming, it will give you also. Because we serve a God who can give exceedingly abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. All of this happens when we praise Him. You're welcome. You're welcome from everywhere from Africa, from Europe, Asia, Middle East, or oh, North America, South America, uh, Australia, everywhere. Let's come together from all over the world 
and give God 247 praise, 168 hours. I welcome you in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hola. Mi nombre es Enrique. Dios te bendiga. Voy a darte un pequeño testimonio de lo que pasó este año 2020 conmigo. El día 10 de abril de este año, que va a pasar, me sometieron a una cirugía el doctor McKnight. Dios puso sus manos en él y me estirpó un tumor canceroso que tenía en el colon. Y de ahí pasé por un proceso de quimioterapias de varios meses. Fue muy duro. Pero déjame decirte que en el último examen que me hicieron, el 3 de noviembre, la doctora me habló, el doctor también me habló y me dijo de que no tenía absolutamente nada, que estaba limpio. Y ese ha sido un milagro de Dios. Tú que me estás oyendo y tal vez necesites la ayuda de Dios, reúnete con nosotros para que tú veas la magnitud de los milagros que Él puede hacer por ti. Te digo de que las experiencias que he pasado en este año han sido únicas. Pasé por un proceso medianamente largo y déjame decirte que el milagro que ocurrió conmigo ha sido maravilloso. Hoy en día me siento muy bien, estoy restableciéndome poco a poco, pero con la conciencia y la calidad de vida que yo estoy llevando en este momento, me siento feliz, me siento contento y relajado. El apoyo de toda mi familia y de todos aquí en la iglesia fue algo muy grande y maravilloso. Muchas gracias y creo que tú, la persona que necesite y que me está escuchando este pequeño testimonio, necesitas entregarte a los pies de Dios para que te quite esa enfermedad que es muy mal. Gracias a Dios, como vuelvo a repetir, es un milagro que ocurrió en mí. Este año hoy estoy limpio totalmente de ese cáncer. Gloria a Dios. Las 168 horas del año pasado en la que tuve la oportunidad de adorar al Señor con mi familia aquí, yo pienso de que ustedes también deberían venir este año en las nuevas 168 horas que va a haber. Les invito para que ustedes vengan a adorar al Señor y puedan pedir por sus milagros, puedan pedir por sus trabajos, puedan pedir por sus familias, puedan pedir por cualquier motivo en el que ustedes estén pasando cualquier uh, problema que tengan ustedes. Una vez más, los invito para que puedan asistir a esta iglesia maravillosa, iglesia grande y bien linda, para adorar al Señor. Vengan, los invito nuevamente. Gracias. Glorias, glorias y muchas glorias, aleluya, a nuestro Dios Todopoderoso. Wow, wow, wow. Hermanos, el año 2020 fue un año muy, muy difícil. Yo ni siquiera quiero imaginar lo que usted pasó, pero yo, para mí, no fue un año fácil. Pero Dios, el Todopoderoso, el Rey de los Reyes, el Señor de los Señores, me ha protegido. Y si usted me está escuchando, es porque Dios también te protegió. Y quiero invitarle a no tomar este tiempo solo así. Hermanos, alaba a Dios. Ven y ajúntate a nosotros. Únete a nosotros para darnos la alabanza y adoración a Dios. ¿Y ¿Sabes cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer por una semana, siete días. Y en cada día, 24 horas. Sí, me ha escuchado bien. Vamos a hacer 168 horas de adoración y alabanza a Dios. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque sus misericordias duran para siempre. Hermanos, ajúntase, puede ser físicamente y también si no puede estar aquí físicamente, queremos invitarle a 
unirse virtualmente. Entonces, puedes uh, sobreescribirte en el canal de, de, de King's Palace, King's Palace TV, YouTube. Ahí nos vas a encontrar, hermanos. Ve y alaba a Dios por sus misericordias, por lo que Dios ha hecho a ti y tu familia. Yo sé que quizá unos han sido un, algo que fue muy emocional. Yo no quiero describir lo que habíamos pasado porque todos no sabemos lo que pasamos aquí en 2020. Es un año que la verdad ha marcado a mucha gente. A mucha gente. Ya sabemos, y no queremos citar este nombre, pero se llama coronavirus. Y ya se fue el nombre poderoso de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Y vamos a entrar en 2021 alabando y adorando a Dios. Que Dios le bendiga. Muchas gracias. No te olvides, únete a nosotros. Abunda mutumbe iba yesu yai. Abunda boka be iba yesu yai. Abunda likita mabe iba yesu yai. Abunda shitna mabe iba yesu yai. Yai yo yai yai yesu yai. Haba abunda mutumbe iba yesu yai. Ya oa munkao godiani daga RCCG the King's Palace KD Texas mu a RCCG the King's Palace muna godiya ga Yesu domin shine ya kawo mu a cikin wannan rana yau a cikin wannan shekara na 168 hours of praise mu a RCCG the King's Palace za mu yi rawa za mu tafi hannu za mu yi ihu ga Yesu Allah Masihu ku za mu je because of Rome, kind touching a can only go, Macachine kind, or Dima, no, no lotara, and the Corona beer, right? Where from February, road December, my Corona, my Covid, my economic recession, Han Chanile, Kama, I ain't can undo, I ain't can didn't do, I ain't can no, ta, where all ta, no get some, no moon invite, bia. Na King's Palace, RCCG, the King's Palace. No, na Katy, Texas. Kain biat to chineke of ma. Kain biat kele chineke. Ma ihe ni lo me ain. Oge row from December 21st, 24th. We row December 31st. Unu gabia. Upo chini le unu na gabia. Kain to chineke, okay? O kele the little chineke o neli gwe dalunu unga funu. Omo ibala ki hallelujah. Jao tibo. Fokuni, Fobuni, Fomode, Hagbalagba. Kai Kautu, Kai Kausu. My job, but I'm boss of four. And for every normal couple, you, within the first one or two years, you want to have children. But there was that delay. First, it was fibroids, then it was low sperm count, then it was all sorts of things, you know. But we kept trusting God. We kept holding on to him. We kept telling God that he alone is the only person that can help us. Nobody else can help us. And so um, at the 121 hours of grace, I remember that I danced and I told God, I said, Lord, I am going into 2019. 2019 is going to be a different year for me. 2019 is going to be our year of fruitfulness. 2019 is going to be the year where the Lord will do something he has never done in our lives. And so we trusted him. And to the glory of God, by December 2019, while the 168 hours of praise was going on, I was pregnant. I give him all the glory. He's a faithful God. He is a God that never fails. 
is a God that never abandoned. You know, while waiting, I, I moved closer to God and I knew that he was the only one that could do it. Every time we went to the doctor, it was one report, one negative report or the other. It was something, oh, this, oh, that, oh, this is short, oh, that is short. But I kept telling myself, I said, Lord, you will do this. And he did it. And you know, when we realized that we were having triplets, I recalled the, the prayer I, I told God. I recalled the prayer we, we agreed on about the number of children we wanted. I wanted a set of twins, so a boy and a girl, and a single child, a girl. So a boy and a girl pregnancy, and then a single child of a girl pregnancy. But look at what the Lord did. He gave us everything in one pregnancy. So I give him all the glory. I want to encourage you out there. If you're trusting God, wait on him. Hold on to him. He's the only one that can help you. And he will do it. Just have faith. Do not doubt in your mind. Just hold on to him and say, Father, I know you will do it. And he will do it. He will come through for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So the glory of God, I want to thank God. I want to thank the pastor um, for his prayer. And um, I remember uh, during that, uh, during uh, once he said hours of praise, I often see pastor dancing. So I always, you know, encouraged by his dance. You know, in my mind, I was like, pastor dance a lot. And, uh, you know, I was just moved by the way pastor dances and all that. So I never, you know, kind of uh, allow whatever I'm going through to bother me. My faith has always been in God. And, uh, you know, even when I had pastors uh, and Manushadi story, I was even moved more, you know, in faith as in holding on to God and the rest like that. So we held on to God. And even the day pastor prayed for us, I remember pastor said, um, I always pray for you guys, even in my private prayers. I remember you in my prayer. And I felt it that truly he prays for us. And today we are here with Gideon, with glory and with grace to the glory of God. So I really want to thank God. I really want to thank every member of the Twins Palace that has prayed for us one way or the other, has encouraged us. I really want to even use this opportunity to, you know, invite you and uh, tell you that whatever you are going through, just trust God. If God can come through for Abraham, come through for Anna, come through for Pastor Tunde Ashadi Badu, came through for us, definitely is unchangeable God. It's the same God yesterday, the same God today, the same God tomorrow, and the same God forever. He changes not. So he's definitely going to do it for you. Just trust him. Trust him and trust him absolutely. And it will come through for you. And you will share your testimony even to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. A Dieu toute la gloire et l'adoration. Nous sommes ici pour vous inviter à participer de notre prière de 168 heures d'adoration. L'année 2020 n'était pas facile pour tous, mais tu es là par la grâce de Dieu. Nous sommes venus ici pour dire merci à Dieu pour nous garder jusque ici. Tu peux nous joindre physiquement ou alors virtuellement online. Abonnez-vous de, sur notre chaîne de YouTube, King's Palace TV. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Plusieurs ont eu des miracles qu'ils peuvent même témoigner. Et toi aussi, tu peux un des. C'est pour cela, viens nous joindre à adorer l'éternel Dieu de bonté qui nous a protégés. Que Dieu vous bénisse. On peut dire aussi, joyeux Noël. When the Bible said David danced in the public, almost naked, I couldn't imagine a contemporary translation or a contemporary equivalent of David dancing in the public square. It feels like someone getting in the middle of Madison Square Garden in New York and just dancing, dancing, irregardless of who is watching, irregardless of what is going on in the community, in the environment around you. I haven't gone through 2020 and the whole dread 
of the COVID pandemic, and we are still here, you are here, I am here, we are alive, we are breathing, our family is alive, and you want to tell me there's no reason to praise God? Come on now, look, we are about to get into the highest praise that you can ever encounter in this year 2020. Someone will tell you, oh no, this is not the time to praise God. This is not the time to be excited. This is not the time to be happy. Come on. That you are here. This is the time. You need to let everything else go and launch into the realm and a dimension of praise and worship that has never been experienced. The Bible says Solomon gave a thousand offering. A thousand offering. So what are you going to give to God? The Redeemed Christian Church of God, King's Palace, Katy, Texas, presents 168 hours of praise. Imagine that. 24 hours, seven days, non-stop. But physically, of course, with social distancing and wearing of masks and all of that, we, we observe all of that. And even virtually. Come and join a company of praisers. Come and join a company of people that will lift up great praise to heaven and open up the windows of heaven as you cross over into 2021. Starting right about now, very soon, we're going to launch into the highest realms of praise. So get your friends, get your father, your mother, your spouse, your children, your anyone that you know, your relatives, and even your enemies. Get your dancing shoes. Get your smile horn. Let's get ready as we prepare for a period of 168 hours of praise. It's going to be non-stop. Connect to our Facebook channel. Subscribe to the button down there. Hit the notification button. Or subscribe to any of the social network platforms that we have on the screen. Come on. Get everybody and join us. God bless you. Uau, uau, glória a Deus. Irmãos, eu só estou aqui para lhes convidar a participar das 168 horas de, de louvor e adoração a Deus. Nós sabemos que o ano 2020 foi um ano difícil para muitos de nós, aliás, o mundo inteiro, mas nem com isso a gente estará aqui louvando e adorando a Deus porque as suas misericórdias duram para sempre. Então, ajunta-se a nós para louvar a Deus em conjuntura com o mundo inteiro que estará louvando a Deus. Então, só para dizer a Deus, muito obrigado, Senhor, pelo dom da vida. Muito obrigado pelas tuas maravilhas. Que Deus vos abençoe. To God be all the glory. We have come to thank the Almighty God for the blessing of Bolo Atifé, Isaac Ogomide Badru, our son. We waited for 23 years to have him. We give God all the glory that he opened our eyes very early in our marriage to the power of praise. Even though we were waiting and it was challenging throughout the 23 years, but one thing we kept doing and we're still doing right now is the praise of God. And last year, just before my wife, you know, uh, became pregnant, the Lord began to speak to me that, why don't you raise the praise? You've done 72 hours, 100 hours, 120 hours. What about giving me 24, 7, 168 hours of praise? I was afraid because even if I wanted to do that, I wasn't sure that the members of the choir and the church will embrace that. And then, you know, we didn't know what was coming. But I agreed, you know, with God that... We can do that. And I shared the vision with the choir with my wife, and we agreed to praise God. And then in March, you know, my wife became pregnant, and God saw her through the pregnancy. Only one talk about the pregnancy. We thank God because even at my age, everything went so well. That is why we wanted to join us this year for during this 168 hours of praise. It's a time of divine visitation, a time of miracle, a time for God to do that which I promised in your life. Join us as we celebrate this God. 
during this 168 hours of service. On Friday, 8.03 a.m., 1st of November 2019, Isaac Bolwati Fergo Badru, our son, you know, uh, was born. And then, you know, we began to say, okay, what are we going to do? So let's begin to teach him how to praise God. And for seven days, Isaac was with us in the church. We didn't go home. He was here. He spent seven days from 24th to the 31st of December into the new year last year. And we thank God that, um, interestingly, <laughs> almost every day, if Isaac is crying and you turn on a worship, it will, it will be quiet. We thank God for the power of praise. But since then, many more families had connected, you know, with this same, you know, blessing. The Lord had, you know, given families triplets. Some have had singles. Some have had twins over the time. We've received calls from different places. For this morning, somebody called us from Nigeria who had a testimony and said, can I connect with this same testimony? I'm believing God that it's your turn as well. Amen. But you must engage the power of praise. And I believe God, as you join us in this one and state as of praise, it's your turn to testify. Yours may not be babies, it may be new business, it may be healing in your marriage, it may be healing in your health. Whatever it is you are trusting God for, as you connect with this one and state as of praise that have produced many, many testimonies, you will be the next in line to Amen. testify. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Join us this year for another session of 168 Hours of Praise. It shall be a time of divine visitation, a time of miracle signs and wonders, and the Lord will visit each and every one of us. Don't miss it. Invite somebody, and God bless you. 2020's COVID experience was another Goliath experience for God's children. But while Goliath was defiling the name of the Lord, the Lord was busy raising a David generation, who eventually arose confronted and slayed their worst fear and nightmare. That you are still alive is an evidence that God has conquered your fear factor. I therefore invite you to join hundreds of overcomers like you as we begin a marathon unrestricted non-stop praise. For 24 hours and 7 days, a whopping 168 hours of super mega praise. Get ready to join us as we count down and begin in a few minutes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forever. Guess what? You made it. I made it. Can you believe it? 12 months have gone by and God has been so good to us. Can you just imagine what we all went through this year? And by the grace of God, we are still standing. COVID-19 came and we are still here. Think about all the days, all the months, and all the weeks. It has been the faithfulness of God. Oh my goodness, how did we get here? Not for any other reason, but by the grace of God. And guess what? We are here again for 168 hours of praise. Yes, you heard me right. 168 hours of praise. 24 hours, 7 days, praising our God. Is he not worthy of the praise? So get ready. Get your dancing shoes, your hands clapping, wherever you're watching from, all over the world. We're trusting God for about a million people all across the nations, worshiping our great God. And guess what? The Bible says in Psalm 67, let the people praise thee. Let the people praise thee, O God, and the earth shall yield her increase. And God is even our God shall bless you. And so get ready in this 168 hours of praise as we're worshiping, as we're praising God, anything can happen. I mean, anything good. So get ready for miracles. Get ready for testimonies. Get ready for blessings. And above all, get ready to worship the Lord. We're streaming live from RCC, the King's Palace, Katy, Texas, pastored by Pastor Tunde and Shade Badru. And also we're streaming live on Facebook, on YouTube, and Instagram. So make sure to share the link and make sure to start a watch party. 
promise. So now let's go in live as we start 168 hours of praise for the year 2020. And we're going to do a countdown together and then shout 168 hours as we go in live. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Three, two, one, 168 hours of praise. Let's go.